Okay, friends, so I'm here at Hyundai of Fort Myers, and we're taking a look at two cars. Actually, my sister is looking for two cars, or actually three. We're going to look at the Accent, the uh, Venue, and the Kona. And, um, you know, so you know a little bit more. She is a senior citizen, older than me, so she's looking for something that has easy access, uh, maneuverability, and very comfortable, basically, on the ride. So as I said, we're looking at, this is the venue, and that one is the Kona. So we're looking, comparing those two, and in addition to that, we're look at the, gonna take a look at the accent. So once again, the venue, like the lines, very stylized, and the interior is pretty cool, as you can see. Take a look inside. The interior is very simple, uh, nothing spectacular, but everything is reachable. This is a touch uh, screen. The uh, seats, these are cloth, but in two tones, which make, makes it very nice. And ample room in the back, we'll sit in the back, and a decent uh, cargo space. However, I'm not pleased with how far the front seat can go. This is as far as I can go, and I feel a little bit cramped. Again, I'm 6'1", and I feel very close to the steering wheel, which I don't particularly like. I can, you know, push the back seat back a little bit more but then I'm leaning way too much and you know in a comfortable seat, you know, position I think I'm too you know just too close for my taste to the steering wheel so I'm now in the back seat and relatively comfortable again I have the uh, front seat pushed back you know the, basically the way I would like it if I'm driving it but my knees are definitely touching the front seat so not necessarily ample room in the back at least for an adult size you know 6.1 feet tall person but he has apparently <laughs> room for three again very thin people um, let's take a look at the uh, cargo space okay the cargo space is, okay. is good but not necessarily large uh, yes you can pull the uh, or push the back seats forward so you have the entire back space as cargo now one thing is this is all manual nothing automatic here including the seats but this model i think is the base model for the venue so this venue which is the stl is selling for twenty thousand six hundred and seventy which is fairly affordable uh, it only has a few options Carpet, the floor mats, the cargo tray, the mud guards, and the wheel locks, which add up to about a thousand bucks. But it comes fairly loaded with a lot of options already. And best, um, I think, among a lot of the uh, car brands is the warranty. You know, the warranty on the Kias, the warranty on the Hyundai's, I don't think are matched by any other brand. Okay. In terms of comfort, uh, I don't necessarily like it, not for me. Now this is the uh, this is the Kona, Hyundai Kona. I like the uh, the color and the black accents and the rims are very nice. Uh, this is the ultimate version, which is the um, I believe the top of the line. This one is listed at twenty nine thousand five hundred and forty. And it has about 1100 bucks of upgrades or additional features, added features. Um, this, as I said, is the uh, top of the line Kona. So it has better options, better controls, more, uh, again, controls on the steering wheel. And it has either leather or leatherette, which is very nice. Don't feel as cramped as in the uh, venue. You know, I have better distance and I can um, you know put, this is automatic the other one the uh, seats adjustments automatic the other one was manual but this one has a little bit more distance 
between let's say my chest and the steering wheel so I don't feel as cramped. Uh, the back seems to be also fairly ample. We'll take a look at that. Uh, in terms of finishes for the, um, again, the uh, touch screen and the dials and all that, uh, it's, it's, you know, well, it's okay. I mean, it's not luxurious, definitely. This one comes equipped with a sunroof, moonroof. And once again, I'm in the back, uh, back seats, the fat, the uh, driver's seat is pushed all the way back to where I would drive it. And if I'm having another person of my size in the back seat, it definitely cramp. I, my knees are definitely touching the other uh, front seat. I will have to, you know, kind of do this. Uh, so not necessarily a lot of space. Again, it's supposed to be for three passengers. But uh, again, very thin passenger. It has the uh, seat belts for three passengers. It also has, you know, the armrest here in the center. Uh, and as I said, the upgrade of the uh, leather red or leather uh, feels very nice. In terms of cargo space, very comparable to the venue. You know, not a lot of cargo space. I think that when compared to, for example, the CX-5, which I think is a competition for the Kona or maybe the CX-3. No, I think the CX-3 might be smaller than this one. You know, it has, again, you know, enough, but not plenty. Again, you can also push the uh, back seats forward and increase your cargo space. But as with the uh, venue, the lid is manual. So, you know, if you're a city senior citizen looking for comfort, and ease of use this is not a convenience okay because manually lifting or most importantly closing the lid can be an effort that most some senior citizens may not be able to do okay so the other car that we're going to take a look at is the accent but again i'm on the hyundai those are the three cars that in this case my citizen my sister again a senior citizen with limited mobility uh, is looking at okay so we already discarded the Kona and the venue as potential uh, choices again because um, you know they for example in the venue the uh, seats are manual and in addition to that as I said the lid for the trunk uh, is manual and she basically can't reach it so those are discarded we're not going to continue uh, considering those we're going to look at the hyundai accent which i think is the smallest one that, that they have and nice lines very similar i think to the elantra maybe a little bit smaller not sure okay so now i'm here inside the accent uh, well, definitely <laughs> not for my size. Uh, very cramped again. The space between my chest and the steering wheel, and definitely my legs are touching the steering wheel, as you can see here. Um, and, you know, as I mentioned, this is more of an entry uh, level car, even though it has, well, not even though, it also has a touch uh, screen and very simple dials. And this one in particular has the cloth seats, which are okay, nothing fancy. Again, this is a very non-fancy <laughs> car. This one sells, it's listed for 18,845, and it has only about $930 in added features. It has all the conveniences and advanced safety technology as most of the Hyundais, actually most cars nowadays have. This one has 36 um, combined, 36 miles per gallon combined highway and city, city 33, 41 highway, so a lot of um, uh, efficiency in terms of mileage. And, you know, the car itself is not bad looking. Again, it reminds me of the Elantra. So, uh, in terms of drivability, obviously the, um, the Kona and the Venue have a more supple uh, suspension or drivability or feeling. Uh, this one is a little bit rough uh, as, well, 
know, basically the venue and the Kona. The, the Kona and the venue are crossovers or small SUVs. Uh, this one, uh, obviously, a small sedan. Not bad looking in terms of lines, but limited in terms of um, you know the size of the the people basically that can drive it. You know, again, six one, and I'll be very uncomfortable driving it. Another feature that he has is obviously you can push the back seats forward so you increase the trunk space, which is convenient. So now with the engine on and you can see the uh, touch screen, it also has Apple CarPlay. Uh, in terms of space in the back seat, again limited for a person my size um, you will have to push the either the passenger or the driver's seat you know kind of forward to have ample room space ample leg space okay guys so that was my no-nonsense non-technical review of the venue the Kona and the accent uh, particularly for me Either car will be comfortable, especially for the passenger seat, I mean for the uh, driver's seat. Uh, they're very basic. I think that the Kona, the one that we saw, the, uh, the Ultimate, is kind of expensive at 30000 bucks, 29900 So, you know, that's, that's pushing it for Hyundai. Again, one thing that Hyundai has going for them, as well as Kia, Hyundai owns Kia, is the warranty, unmatched in the industry. So that's definitely something to consider if you're looking for a car in the same price price range size let's say a toyota yaris uh, maybe a rav4 comparable to the venue maybe um, you know take a, take take into consideration the warranty because this one as i said is unmatched in the industry you know they have to be very confident about their powertrain transmission engine etc to give it such a long long warranty so again, something to consider, okay? So until the next time, peace.